Hello and welcome to another Twit for Media feature interview. Today I am joined by three representatives of the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports and we will be discussing some summer programs that are looking to entice the youth of Tortola and the wider Virgin Islands and keep them actively involved in learning activities throughout the summer months. More on that after a quick break. Yeah. Father Jesus, that learn you along like church souls. Hmm. Alright, let me enjoy the rest of it. Yeah. Next customer in line, please. Wait, hold on a second. Yes, Sonny Boy, come, yes, Sonny. Good morning. Good morning, Sonny Boy, hold on. You must have cut fun tapping. It's okay, it's okay, I'll take care of it. What? No, no man, protect your name. How may I assist you? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you want top of power? Eh? You want top of power? Eh? Join the prepaid party with CCT and enjoy more affordable data plans, more top-up promotions, more savings with hero bundles, and more value for your money each and every Tuesday with Top-Up Turn-Up Tuesday. Visit a CCT store today or anywhere CCT top-up is sold and top-up your phone. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you want top-up or what? When you're in need of air conditioning, installation, repairs, or replacement services, Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration has the professional technicians, equipment, parts, and ACs to get the job done right. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration carries top brands like Daikin, Aircon, Mitsubishi and more. We're open Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Located in Fish Bay. Telephone 340-4114 or 343-9511. Markinson Air Conditioning and Refrigeration, providing exceptional services to the British Virgin Islands since 2015. At home or on the go, watch CCT Live. Download our app and carry your favorite TV shows, news, or live sports anywhere you go. Visit cctbvi.com forward slash live, select your package, and tune in. Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. I'm your host, Jaco Whitting, and today I have three guests. So I'm going to allow you each to introduce yourself before we get things started. Hi everyone, I am Shani Slenor, the Senior Program Manager for Youth with the Department. Hi, good morning. My name is Wayne Robinson, Program Officer, Sports. Hi, good morning. My name is Megan Williams, I'm Program Officer for Youth. All right. Now, of course, everybody knows that the education aspect of your entire ministry is very important, but more so important while school is on. That's the time the children are in the classrooms. But of course, you guys are dealing with the children in and outside of the classroom. So of course, you're trying to keep them engaged for the summer. Tell me what's really coming up for the youth this summer. Well, in terms of youth, we have the youth summer camp, which would run from the 4th of July until the 31st. We have activities such as culinary, which will entail cooking, which but will be all local. We focus on all local cuisines. We also would have recreational sports and arts and crafts. And of course, field trips, because yeah, students love field trips. <laughs> All right, now you did mention sports, and that would be your expertise for yeah. sure. What kind of sporting activities can we see the youth involved in, and would it only be focused for young athletes, or is it for everybody to come and try their hand? Well, for the, for the multi-sport camp, um, we're catering to ages 6 to 16, and in the first instance, we're going to focus on, on three main sports. We're going to have the baseball slash softball, we have uh, basketball and we have volleyball. So we're gonna just focus on those uh, three main sports and every child will actually get a chance to participate in each one of those sports for the summer. All right, what would you say is the importance of having young people, students, children 
um, involved in such activities throughout the summertime? Um, well, so, summer programs are they are important. Um, it's it's a mandate of the department. Um, we we, we want to keep kids engaged um, during that period when there's there's no school and school is out, and um, the sport aspect of it. Um, in order to see fruits, we have to plant the seeds. So the grassroots aspect of it, it's a time where we get the young uh, students out so we can teach them the fundamentals of, of all these sports. And then, you know, later on, they could, could develop, they can move it. It can be a gateway for them to go to college, um, hopefully a, a career. So it's just basically getting all the kids participating in all sports, and then they can uh, decide which, where they want to go forward from there. I, in, in addition to that, I just want to also add that having these summer camps is extremely important, no matter the interest of the child, because it's also help with their development, whether it's through social, emotional, as well as cognitive, cognitive skills development with the children. Okay, all right. Now, um, let me also <laughs> add also, I know mm -hmm. my colleague also mentioned our youth camp, mm -hmm. and my colleague to my closest to me mentioned the multi-sport summer camp yeah but we also have our steam summer camp and that's that particular camp is for children between the ages of 8 through 16. so the focus would pretty much be you know science technology engineering art and maths all right and we know that's definitely a major drive of the department of education yes, right yes. now um moving full steam ahead yes we for are. the school again <laughs> all right now i found it very interesting that you mentioned that the focus on the culinary arts side would be on local dishes it, does that have anything to do with trying to keep that area of the culture alive yes yes, yes definitely all right so I do not recall if you mentioned if there's music. There will have well. some mm -hmm. aspects, mm -hmm. but the heavily focus is on art, okay. cookery, recreational sports with board games and sports, mm -hmm. and of field trips, which, which will also be cultural field trips yes. and historical field trips. And we will also have a fun day at the very end of the camp. And just most importantly, so the public would know that we're inviting to have the persons who register on the sister islands to take them over to Tartola mm -hmm. and we will just have one big fun, fun day for everyone. So it's going to be exciting. All right. So you did mention persons registering on the sister islands. So are there separate locations where the camps will be held? Yes, there are separate locations. So for the youth, for the youth summer camp, mm -hmm. um, we have three locations in Tartola and I'm going to have my assistant to the sister island. So for the youth summer camp, we have the location in East End at Francis Letson Primary School. And for persons who already know, we have the central location at Alexandria Maduro Primary School, but we just want to announce the change that there has been a change that we were moving, we are moving the camp that is stationed at Alexandria Maduro Primary School to Elmo Stowe High School, the new building section. Mm -hmm. And for the Western area, that particular camp will take place at Ebenezer Thomas Primary okay. School. So that's for Tartola. And on the sister islands, we have uh, Jasmine Dyke, which will be held at Jasmine Dyke Primary School in Enigada at Quabja Creek Educational Center and Virgin Water at Bugada Flex Educational Center. All right. Yeah, yeah. For the multi-sports camp um, on the island of Tartola, we're going to use the multi-sports complex. That's going to be our hub. Um, so the sports of basketball, and volleyball will be played there. The baseball, softball will be held over at the, the Ibrilli Ballpark. So we'll, uh, we'll transport those kids over to, the, to the, the baseball field. In Virgin God, it's gonna be, um, the hub will be the Jeffrey Keynes Arena, and now uh, we're gonna have the basketball and volleyball played there. And the baseball is gonna be played at their recreational grounds over there. So that's, that's the location there for the sports. Okay, about how many children are we expected to facilitate with these programs? In, uh, in Virgin Water <laughs> at the uh, Brigade Flex Educational Center, we are, uh, but I'm saying about 100 students. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now we're open to having numbers, and once we realize that we're, we have reached our capacity, we will then, of course, you know, cut off. Yeah, and for the sports here, um, we're catering to at least 200 students. Mm -hmm. um, over in Virgin Garda, we're looking at least 100 students to participate in the program. All right. Now, what if there's a student who wants to participate possibly in 
the STEAM program and the sports program. Is that something that would be possible? Unfortunately, it may not be possible based on how our programs are structured. Mm -hmm. um, our programs are structured in a way where we want our students to have a valuable experience. So to you know, jump over to the next camp, you might miss a lot. Yeah. So uh, we were hoping to just have our students, I think students for our children, in one camp, mm -hmm. which would be their first choice, and that's what they have to stick to until the very end. But of course, we will all merge on the phone day. All right. right? And let me just add at this time, um, our STEAM camp is $100. Okay. And our youth yes. and multi sport camp is sixty dollars, okay. and we are as a department encouraging the public to register by the fifteenth of June, mm -hmm. as as that this segment will still be early registration. So we're encouraging persons to register by the fifteenth of June, and with our special announcement today, we have a sponsor. Okay. So we're asking person effective today. Persons that registered today and on award, we have a sponsor by the name of Mr. Lesmo Smith. He graced the department with a donor, donor sorry, a sponsorship, and we have a total of 68 spots. Mm -hmm. So if parents are interested in you know having their children in any one of our camps, there are free spots available courtesy of Mr. Smith. All right, amazing stuff. It's great to see him involved in the community. He's no stranger to our mm -hmm. studio. Yeah. All right, now. In terms of the structure of the programs, walk me through what a day would be like. Um, is food inclusive for the children? Um, and what time frame are they expected to be engaged throughout the day? Well, I can speak to STEAM and allow my colleagues to speak to other camps. Mm -hmm. as, it relates, as it relates sorry, to STEAM, we, don't, well, we won't be serving food expect, except for when we're doing cooking. You okay. know, you have an opportunity to, to indulge in the food that is provided. Uh, we are not catering lunches. We expect that our children, well, sorry, the children would um, bring their lunches. Um, or our camp is expected to start at 8.30 and end at 4 o'clock. So some of the activities um, the children can be engaging or will be engaging would be you know, mechanical engineering. Um, they have opportunity to engage in you know, scientific experiments, um, an opportunity to do like kayaking, fish pot making, um, everything related to STEAM pretty much, they have an opportunity to, to get involved in. And there's so, a lot on the bottom So there's a lot. Yeah. So for, for example, just in more detail, like every week that we, we focus on a specific letter. Mm -hmm. So for E, you know, there's the engineering aspect, you know, um, those kind of stuff. And for like, for like science, the innovative projects, so that's the S. For math, you know, um, while that, you know, they have the steam mat, we also encourage you know, cooking in between so they do the measurements and stuff like that. But of course, we're also going to tap into doing local foods only, like the fish and fungi, mm -hmm. um, the sugar cakes, pea, pea soup. soup, those kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So it's going to be pretty exciting. But they will also join with the fun day at the very end. All right, now, you want to carry us over to sports or you next? <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the sports, um, basically, we, we're... we're um, building relationships with our sporting organizations, so they would be the ones uh, spearheading their segments of the camp. Um, but a, a typical day, um, everyone heads to the multi-purpose complex. That's where our hub is. We do all our registrations and everything there, um, check our attendance, and uh, we're going to separate the camp into three groups. All right, so let's say, for instance, we have A, uh, B, and C. Um, so A would do basketball today, B would do um, baseball, C will do volleyball. And then we work a rotation system where the, the following day, the, the groups rotate. So at, at any uh, given day, we have all the sports being played um, um, within those three different groups. Um, so a typical day, again, is um, you get to the, the complex, 8.30. Um, whoever is going to do the, the basketball and volleyball, they would remain at the complex. And transportation would take the kids that are going to the softball field over there to do their um, softball activities. Um, lunch will not be provided by the department. However, we're going to make sure that there are concessions uh, where kids, if, if parents are not able to, to provide lunch or pack lunch, um, their, their concessions with vendors, they will be available to, to sell lunches. They can buy their lunch, snacks, water, so forth. 
Um, same thing over in Virgin Garda, the Jeffrey Kings Arena. That will be the hub over there. Um, the basketball and the volleyball will be played there. So you get to the arena. Lucky thing, the, the, the recreation grounds is in walking distance. Yeah. So the kids are doing the baseball can walk over to the field and they do their activities. Same 8.30 to 4, uh, 3.30. Let me just add in the meanwhile, um, my colleague mentioned transportation. So within the STEAM camp, um, we, even though it's going to be housed at Elmo's Dove, they will have opportunity to go to different locations. For example, okay. we will have like photography, mm -hmm. um, dance, or even robotics. So there are different areas we'll have to travel to. So everything won't just be stationed at Elmo's Dove. That's just States. also the hub as well. So they okay. want to add that as well. So they'll okay. have an experience with robotics, coding, 3D printing, and stuff like that as well under STEAM. Okay. Okay, well, with the youth, with the culinary um, in Virgin Water, I'm going to um, start with the Sister Islands. The school, there's a, a kitchen and a setup at the school. However, we're not providing lunch. However, on the days that um, we're doing the culinary, it's up to the coordinator for the center mm -hmm. to say whether you'll, be, you'll have to walk with lunch. They're going to give the lunch based on what they, um, they prepare. Um, most of the activities that we have, the, the arts and craft and uh, recreational sports, as I say, this, the schedule that will be provided to the parents and the students will be based on the coordinator and the facilities that we have for each center. Okay. And I just also want to add something that I neglected to say. Um, for persons that are wondering, we are taking into consideration on children that may have special needs or need special attention. So for each center, we will have a person assigned to assist those children. Mm -hmm. So if persons are interested in joining the camp, we would have the support. Yes. That's fantastic. Now, registration, of course, has already begun. Yes. How can people go ahead to get registered? You can actually come to the department. You can collect a form there. You can fill the form out with your payment and a copy of the NHA card. Also on the flyer, there's a QR code mm -hmm. that you can scan, and you the fly the sorry the application will be available, so you can fill the, the application out, and you can drop it off at the center. In, um, in on the sister islands um, in Anigata, you can actually register at the Quadrikiki Educational Center with Miss Lisa Vantapool Nelson. In Jasmine Dyke, you can register at Jasmine Dyke School with Miss. Laverne Blyden, and in Virgin Gorda, you can register, you can get forms and register at the Robinson O'Neill Memorial Primary School and Brigada Flag Secondary School. Mm. All right, now I see on the flyer that not only is the STEAM summer camp keeping the kids busy, but they also get a t shirt. Yes, they do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so the students would have somewhat of a, a uniform. Yeah. But they will only wear that on Fridays. On the Fridays? Yes. Fridays only. All right, fantastic. Now, I'm going to put each of you on the spot here a bit because now students and parents are faced with the decision, which camp do I need to go to? <laughs> so who would you say or what would you say a student needs to think about before they sign up for your camp? Or who would you say that the target for your camp is if the student is, in, <laughs> if the student is interested in this then they should come to this camp. Well, the difference between the STEAM camp <laughs> and the other two camps is that the students have to be between the ages of 8 through 14. Mm -hmm. And if they have an interest in, you know, STEAM, then why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how I'll answer. Yeah. And for the youth, it, the ages are between 5 and 16, mm -hmm. and we cater to all students. We're not turning away anyone. And Whatever interest they have, they just come along and we try to just bring out the creativity within them. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, for the multi-sports camp, all the kids are interested in sports. We're going to provide that platform um, to teach them the fundamentals. And I said, sports is a, sports is a big avenue. Uh, we can see, see our look across the world and see that we're, we're doing big things on the sporting stage. So it's, a, it's definitely an avenue to get our kids involved get them that basic foundation so we can help them excel. So once you're interested in any sports, 
the multi-sport is a camp. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you all so much for your time today. I feel like my team might have to have some discussions to see when we can <laughs> pop in at these camps because mm -hmm. there's surely a lot going on. We may have to ask for the date for the culinary day <laughs> at <laughs> the youth camp for sure. Come learn some skills right. at the sports camp. But I know the, the students will be so busy. Both the youth and this team will have that cultural that element. Yeah. Yeah. So I also want to take the opportunity for to so thank the Ministry of Education for the support and assisting us in bringing back and reintroducing in this um, program. Additionally, I just want to remind the public that Effective today, you have an opportunity to register free at no cost, courtesy of Mr. Lesmo Smith of Top Priority. And in terms of reaching out to us, you can visit our department or you can call us at 468-4949. All right. Thank you again so much. And thank you so much for joining us today. Stay tuned because there's more great content to come on Twitter for Media.